I'm Terry Olson. I'm privileged to be Fusion Fest chief instigator. I grew up in Alaska. Eight stars of gold on a field of blue. Alaska, the last frontier. And it was definitely a place where people came from all over. I was excited to come there from Minnesota where I had been on an Indian reservation and been a minority student uh, and bullied a lot. But I think that adventurous experience of Alaska helped shape who I am today. In my ancestors, who first came to this country in 1610, got on a little boat. Coincidentally, same boat that my wife's ancestor was on, got shipwrecked in the Bermudas, finally made it to Jamestown, and then my ancestors kept coming, moving west into the frontier, and exploring, and um, exploring new territory. I like to do that myself. The reason we came to Orlando was that SAC Theater, that I was a co-founder of, was performing at Renaissance festivals around the country, a style of audience participatory street theater that we developed. And people who were developing Epcot Center saw us and wanted us to come perform for the first three months of Epcot, but we figured we'd be here longer than three months. So nine of us all moved down here, piled into four apartments that we got, um, and have been here now almost 30, 40 years. Hi, I'm Terry, one of the founders of SAC. Over the 40 years or more, we went from a street theater to the SAC Comedy Lab, several locations downtown, and now here uh, at the corner of Pine and Church Street. To the uh, garage space. What haven't you done? <laughs> Jumped off a perfectly good airplane. I have done that. Damn. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> Terry Olson turned Orlando from a mosquito thriving swamp Preach. into the art mecca that it is today. <laughs> because, <laughs> Rob, because Terry, Terry Olson is, is America. The <laughs> Fusion Fest is by far the biggest thing I've ever worked on. Not only with over a hundred heritages participating, but music, dance, fashion, spoken word, literature, visual arts gallery, interactive activities. A recent study by the Economic Development Board says that by the year 2030, we may very well be the most diverse major city in the world. In the world. So how are we going to deal with that? Throughout history and across the world, when different cultures come together, one thing that can happen is fear and distrust leading to hate and friction. But another way is when cultures work together is they're more innovative and more influential. Personal life mission is to create dynamic events that enliven people. So what I hope to leave behind are people that are closer together, that is a community that supports one another, that loves and respects one another. So if you enjoyed this talk, my name is Terry Olson. If you didn't enjoy this talk, my name is Jim Helsinger.